HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Today it's the Hopkinton Hillers taking on the Norton Lancers. Tom Nappy on the call, and we are underway here at Hopkinton High School as the Hillers start off with possession. Andrew Palaco with the ball. And a pass over to Zachary Frank. And the Hillers, they're going to try to attack early and often. Norton is 0-12 on the season. And the Hillers certainly want to take advantage of their much bigger roster size and try to hand Norton yet another loss as the Hillers remain in control. Here goes Andrew Palaco driving in. Pass over to the right side of the net. And around they go. Kick out from Del Ponte. Now here comes Zach Frank. Pass over, shot. It's deflected, loose ball. Picked up by Norton. The last shot was by Jacob Connors. And here comes the Lancers. I'd like to apologize. We were unable to obtain a Norton roster. So we will just go by their numbers. As the Hillers once again with possession. Sage over to Luke McDonald. Pass around behind the net. We'll take you through the TVL standings in just a moment. The Hillers 8 and 4 on the season. The Lancers 0 and 12. As the Hillers looking to attack. Driving in, shot, goal Hillers. Zach Frank makes it one to nothing. And just a minute 45 into the first quarter, the Hillers are on the board. A nice start for Hopkinton. And back to midfield we go. Goal comes with 10.15 left. And here comes the Hillers right back on the attack. I think one thing that's paid off this season for the Hillers is how aggressive they have been. Zach Frank had two goals, or one goal on the season coming into this game. So that was just his second goal of the year. Hillers put it around the net. Luke McDonald tracks it down. We get a whistle. It'll be Norton ball. Hillers switching the talent up on the field. Loose ball, and it's picked up by Tyler Zanini. Tracking down the far side, Luke McDonald. The pass back. And a misfire there by Jacob Connors. But Zach Frank keeps it in Hiller's possession as he's able to track it down. And he'll score it out to Curtis Terry. Now it's Steven Maffiori with possession. An early start for today's game. It was scheduled for a 4-15 start. But they got things going a little early here at Hopkinton High School. Connor Sullivan driving in, out in front, shot, loose ball, and it's picked up by the Norton goaltender off the net of Dylan McBride. And now it's stolen away, a shot there and a goal. Luke McDonald makes it two to nothing. 8.38 left to go in the first quarter. And 
And if Norton doesn't start maintaining possession, this is going to be a very long day for them. Face off at center field. And here we go. Driving in, Curtis Terry. Passed it over to his left to Dylan McBride. Around the net, trying to open up things in front. Hiller is having no problem controlling the ball so far in this matchup. And a good save there by the Norton goaltender. As Andrew Palaco went in for the shot and out stolen back by the Hillers. A slight misfire there by McBride. Loose ball along the far side. Trying to track it down is Luke McDonald. He'll leave it out in front. There's a great pass by McBride and a shot by Riley Del Ponte. And that is in to make it three to nothing. 7.45 left to go in the first quarter. And the Hillers taking control early on in this game. At midfield for the Hillers, Andrew Palaco. Goes Palaco up the far side. And joining me shortly will actually be Andrew Palaco's father, Ben Palaco, on the call today. Pass back over to Jake Weinstock. Here goes Weinstock cruising in. Out in front now, that is. Dylan McBride. Rushing in, Matt Fiore. Now pass up behind the net, and there's a shot and a score by Riley Del Ponte. And just like that, it's 4 0 Hillers. 6.53 left to go in the first quarter. Riley Del Ponte has his second goal of the game. As I welcome in Ben Palaco on the call with me today. Ben, how's it going? Good, happy to be here. Like watching some lacrosse on a actually half decent day here in May. It certainly is, and it's uh, rare weather, I would say, for this May. It seems to be raining just about every day. Yeah, it's been it's been a wet season so far. So playing on a dry field is a nice change. Great start for the Hillers so far. They lead it four to nothing. 6.45 and counting left to go in the first quarter. Pass out in front and it's picked up by Connors and he's able to scoop it back behind the net. Hillers trying to set up shop in front once again as McBride kicks it out to Frank. Now over to Palaco. I believe uh, you know Andrew Palaco quite well. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we have we have a bit of a bit of a long-term relationship here. <laughs> so um, it's been fun watching him play the last four years. In fact, been fun watching all these kids play the last four years. Um, coached many of them since they were about half the size here. So good to see them all wrap up their careers on on strong notes. Certainly a lot of talent on this year's team. I think they have big hopes yeah. for the postseason. Yeah, and I mean, I'll, and I'll just highlight right over there, Dylan McBride on that ride just now. I mean, a tremendously aggressive player getting up there trying to stop and uh, and get the ball back quick. And as you see, you know, they're, they're playing it hard here today. They certainly are. They know Norton is a young team with a short roster. 0-12 on the season are the Lancers. 8-4 and four for the Hillers. And Hopkinton just trying to take control early on here. Lancers with possession. And 
Unfortunately, we were able, unable to obtain a Norton roster, so we'll have to go by <laughs> numbers for them. But Norton having all kinds of trouble stopping this Hillers team. Loose ball out in front, and it is scooped up by Corey Bannon, the goalkeeper. Yep. Yeah, I've got a classic transition going on here. Dylan McBride with the nice feed. Yeah, I mean, that's a Dylan classic. And another score there for the Hillers. I believe that was uh, Del Ponte with another one. Again. That's his third goal already. 5.09 left to go in the first quarter. 5 nothing Hillers. Yeah, I think you'll start to see some different numbers from the roster coming out here pretty quick. I think everybody's going to get a taste of the action today. Mm -hmm. Coming into this game, uh, Riley Del Ponte had 16 goals overall on the season. Now is up to 19, three goals already. Lancer is trying to attack here. 14 coming up with possession. He'll take it around, and he's being heavily contested by Andrew Paleko. There's a shot there, and Bannon with the save. The clears have been the work here they've had to do this season. So good to see them actually getting their get getting their clears down a little more strong. Moving it here. Nice motion back to Riley, working the ball around. Good discipline. There's a shot there, deflected away, loose ball. And it's picked up towards midfield. Hillers maintained possession. Now a near interception there. But cutting off the defender was Mafiori. Now it's loose once again. And it's picked up by Norton. Here comes the Lancers. 4-10 and County left to go in the first quarter. The Lancers looking for a shot. Another great save there by Bannon. Loose ball along the far side. Connor Sullivan getting a strike in there. Lancers with possession. The sun is starting to peak out here at the turf fields. Certainly nice weather for today's lacrosse game. Fifteen with possession for the Lancers. Up behind the net, trying to sneak it around, and he's cut off by Connor Sullivan. Ball knocked loose, but it's picked up once again by 18 for the Lancers. Danny Sage with the pickoff there, playing, playing great defense as usual. Jake Weinstock getting in on the action. Now here comes Hopkinton with possession. That is Dan Sage. Now along the far side, Luke McDonald. And Lancers get it back. Or no, it's loose. Still loose, and it's knocked forward by a Lancer, but then picked up by Mafiori. In front now. Here's McBride with possession. Around the net. Del Ponte already with three goals today. Knocks it over to Frank. Now driving in Connors. Connors with a shot. And just a little wide there. 17 left to go in the first quarter. 5 0 lead for the Hillers. Ponte leaves it out in front. And now a great setup for McBride. 6 0 Hillers. This is the kind of game where it can get a little, you can get it easy to be a little too aggressive. And so, what you like to see is what they were just doing there, having some discipline, working the ball around still, really making sure they take a good shot. That was some real good ball work. Hiller's just so well coached by Dan Norton and his staff. And all season long, they've just continued to show a tremendous amount of discipline. And they've gotten better and better throughout the years.
2.04 left to go, six nothing Hillers. Picked up by Paleko. Here he goes. Nice move there, able to get it to McBride. Hillers will send it back around. McDonald with possession. And there's Stilpanti with another Again. shot. And did that go in? I believe it did. Yes, it did. 7-0 Hillers. Riley having a career game here today. It certainly is. Four goals in the first quarter. Well, it's got to be tough for a team like Norton to be taking on a team like this Hillers team. But it's a learning process, right? Yeah, and you know, and TVL small really is you know just kind of a different league nowadays. And so, um, uh, you know, I think a lot of these those smaller schools have, have got younger programs, and so getting getting up to, up to this kind of level is a challenge. And Hopkins playing well. I mean, the TVL they're 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 looking good. I'll take you through the TVL standings in a moment. Taylor's towards the top. In front, that is Sullivan. Here goes Connor Sullivan. Gets it up behind the net now to Del Ponte. Back to Sullivan. Now driving in, that's uh, yep, there's Jake. Yep, gets another one. Here he goes. Hiller's piling it on. Eight nothing. Now, the thing about Connor is he's he's now a D1 commit here to UMass, so you like you know he can he can certainly play at the best of them, but you like to see him out here feeding the ball like that to some other players in these kind of games. Certainly do. Got to get a couple D1s. Got Zach Frank, 21. He's going to be going down to play at Sacred Heart, making his way there. So you got you got a bunch of future uh, future collegiate players here. And a lot of great multi-sport athletes as well. Oh, for sure. A number of members of that state championship qualifying hockey team on the roster. Yep, for sure. Taking a look at the standings for boys lacrosse. Medfield at the top with a 12 and one record. Mm. Hiller's eight and four. Westwood eight and six. Ashland seven and six. Norwood five and six. And Holliston six and seven. For the TVL large, we'll the TVL small in just a moment. Zach Frank with the pass over to Mafiori. Yeah. yeah, Medfield are really the grim reapers of the of the TVL large here. They're you know they're they're on top constantly. Westwood had had a terrific game with Hopkins the other day in the in the rain in the sleet, but uh, real real strong win for the Hillers here, coming back with an overtime goal to bring it home. That was a big victory for this team. I think gave them a lot of confidence. Here's Matt Fiore with a shot, loose ball. And it's picked up by the goalkeeper, who will then take a shot from McBride. Boy. Now it's Seuss once again. Turns around, nice shoots, deflected away. Nice save by him. That was a great deflection. And the TVL small, you got Bellingham at 1 and 11, Norton 0 and 12, Dover Sherbourne 9 and 4, Medway 9 and 4, Dedham 5 and 8. Yeah, the DS game at the end of the season will be a big game because that's a strong team always. Dover Sherborne just always seems to be towards the top. Yeah, they're just they're just a really good program. 1.3 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And that's going to do it. After one, it's the Hillers 8, Norton nothing. We'll take a timeout. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HKM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the second quarter. An eight nothing lead for the Hillers over the Norton Lancers. Just pure domination in that first quarter by Hopkinton. The Lancers, a 
young up and coming program. And we are ready to get things underway here in the second quarter. And we're shaking up a little bit here on the face off already, getting some new, new blood in. Ryan Keefe with possession. So Hillers work left to right across your screen. Owen McDonald now. So I'm happy, Ben Palaco, happy to be with you. For Hopkinton Hillers, Boys of City Lacrosse, John Ritz on camera. Del Ponte is able to fire it out to Keefe, and now Salyards driving in. And he'll find Owen McDonald. Yeah. McDonald launches a shot there, and it's saved. Well, the Norton goalkeeper has certainly been busy today. Yeah, he's doing a nice job. He's getting a workout, but he's doing a nice job with it. He's had a couple impressive saves. Yeah. Here comes the Lancers up the far side. We'll see if they're able to establish any type of possession. Around the net. It's 15 looking for 18 along the near side. Out of bounds it goes. Yeah, they're just they're just sort of working to get established. Even just setting up the offense seems to be a little bit of an effort here. Connor Murphy now he fires it back to Theodora Hainberry. Hainberry launches it up. And that was uh, Lacoste Lacess launching it up to Hainberry. Everybody's getting in there for the Hillers in this quarter. Yeah, this is the future. You'll be saying these names a lot more next year. There's Brian Keefe. Keefe closing in, nice looking for the shot. A little wide there. Monty able to pick it up for the Hillers. Over to Hainberry. And now it's loose, and Norton has it. Dropped by a Lancer. Trying to get it back for the Hillers is McBride. And now there's a battle with the ball on the ground. Now Norton looking for a shot here. Out in front and it's saved. Who we got in net there? Looks like Colin Norton. Yeah, we made a bunch of changes. And in fact, that 25, the LSM out there is not is not McBride. That's a, that's a different 25. I think they're going to get the uh, JV squad in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's going to become a bunch of names. We don't, none of us know all that much. So we'll do the best we can. <laughs> right. Misfire there by the Lancers, but it's picked up by 10. Loose ball. He doesn't know it's loose. Lancers able to maintain possession. Approaching nine minutes left to go in the first half. Out in front now, closing in the shot, and it's wide. Lancers keep possession. That shot just wide to the left. Picked up by five. Lancers trying to set something up. Hiller's defending very well with the young group they have out there. There's a shot that is going to go wide. Lancers maintain possession. Dropped along the near side, but then picked up quickly. Lancers keeping possession against this young Hillers group, but unable to come up with a score so far. There's a shot there, which is wide. Take a look. Look at the Hiller stats as well from throughout this season. Luke 
McDonald and Dylan McBride towards the top with goals. They've been tremendous all year. Yep. Luke McDonald, 21 goals. Dylan McBride, 25. Connor Sullivan, 32. Taylor's trying to put another one in here. Well, it's going to be interesting to watch these young players get out there and have an opportunity. And as you said, we're seeing the future of the Hillers here. With possession, Declan Herr. And the Lancers will have it. Here comes Norton along the far side. That's number five for the Lancers. He drops it. Loose ball and Curtis Terry trying to get in there. He's come on strong this year. He's having a real good year. Real strong defensive midfielder. Actually plays a lot in the, in the varsity games. A lot of real demanding situations, in fact. So he, he's been he's having quite a season, actually. Curtis Terry in, a, in his junior year. So he'll be a player to look forward to next year as well. Lancers. Going to have a shot here, and it's wide. We'll Taking a look at the stats for Curtis Terry. He has a goal and assist on the season. Yeah, yeah you know what you see is, you know, again, some of these kids just sort of, um, you know, we have a need for these defensive midfielders too, again, it does a, or as opposed to sort of free ranging. The game has become so specialized. And so, he, yeah, he's, he, he plays some offense too, but he's really been the strongest, I would say, this year on, um, on down there, sort of riding what he was doing down there just a minute ago on, on, these, on these middies. And he's, he's been very strong. And Colin Norad just had a pretty good save to give the mm -hmm. Hillers back the ball. The Connor Murphy with possession. Behind the net, that is Owen McDonald, freshman. Now it's Murphy once again. Murphy trying to close in, looking yep, for a shot. There, there it is. There you go. First varsity goal for him, I think. The sophomore strikes to make it nine to nothing with 5:32 left to go in the first half. Got an older brother actually playing the playing the program. Went down to Maryland, so he, he knows lacrosse. I have a feeling you'll be seeing a lot of them over the next few years. Five thirty-two left to go in the first half. Hillers up nine to nothing. An eight-goal first quarter. A lot of the younger players getting in here in the second quarter. They've defended well and added on to the lead so far. Pass by Donald, and now it's shot out by Koshef. The Hillers, they're just taking their time, being patient, waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Mars with the pass up the near side to Koshef. He was looking nice. for someone in front there. Nice thought on the feed, yeah. There's Connors. What's the rule if it's a uh, 10 goal lead, the clock keeps running? I, I, we'll find out. <laughs> 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 I think we might. <laughs> hasn't, hasn't been all that much of an issue yet this year, but yeah, we've come close a few times. Well, the TVL large is just so competitive. It really is. I mean, it's, it's and again, you know, with the exception of DS, it, yeah, the large is really where there's a lot of action. There's a shot here and a save. That was off the net of Cole Salyards. Here comes Norton. 14 with possession. Yikes. And that is wide. Yeah, that's not going to help the cause, right? The idea, got to get down there and get set up and run the, run the offense. Yeah, it seems like they're just shooting every opportunity they get. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, there's a tendency to do that when you get down. If you start to try to hurry up. You, 
the thing about this game is you, you can do three goals in a minute. I mean, there were probably three goals in a minute during the Western game. You can, if you're playing the offense right, you can do that anyway. It's when you try to force it. Well, there's a Norton score. That was a good play. 15 with the goal there, nine to one, Hillers. Postponing the clock running question. <laughs> Just building the suspense. <laughs> the great reveal. <laughs> Andrew Palaco at midfield for the Hillers. It looks like they trickled in some of those starters. Yeah, he'll keep taking faceoffs today. He's. Um He's having a good season, kind of closing in on a thousand wins over his career. So uh, he's uh, he'll he'll probably keep on going for a little while longer. That's pretty tremendous. Yeah, I mean, even if he wasn't my kid, I'd be proud, right? I mean, <laughs> you know, if he started every varsity game in his whole high school career. He's you know all years at TVL All Star, going off to play at MIT next year. He's he's been a good. I think everyone would agree he's been a good asset for the program. Certainly has. So when McDonald fired wide, Hillers maintained possession. There's a shot a, and was, a score. That was good work again. Brian Keefe making it 10 to one. Again, you like the fact they're still playing disciplined here even at this point, not, not trying to rush it, not trying to sort of s score silly goals. They're, they're working the offense the proper way. Yeah, I mean, this is really, uh, could be taken as kind of like a, a practice situation where you just, Work it on your mechanics. And yeah. So it's a chance, like you said, to get some of the younger kids in, get some get some varsity experience, right? Which is definitely a different level, and um, uh, and, and, and let them sort of sort of try to work the the, the larger offense here. Right, and any time you could do that, I mean, it's a rare opportunity when you get a chance to give them this much experience in an actual game. So. Certainly something to take advantage of. Yeah, and they're coming off a tough game, right? Friday is going to be a big game. St. John's will, is a is a you know ranked contender, so that'll be a big game Friday night. So this is one of the few chances you get to really give the broader squad a chance. Well, that was quite a matchup last year. Actually. Oh yeah, we're at that game, and that was a good battle. That's a heck of a game. Yeah, it looks like the Lancers might have another goal here. Right. The greatest comeback in the history of sports here underway. <laughs> 10 to 2 is the score. Look out, here comes the Lancers. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a whole different second half. They lured us in. Yeah, we didn't see we didn't see the true Lancers in the entirety of the first. The second bus pulls up. <laughs> Blaco with another good face-off win there. These face-off kids, they, had a, they have to come off the field basically every play because the stick gets so torqued when you're doing the face-offs. You, you, you can't throw it or catch it with any reasonable accuracy. I mean, you see, you see these face-off heads and they're twisted like pretzels. So they got, when he plays offense, he's got to come off the field and switch sticks, actually, because you just can't use a face-off head for any, for any real playing. I'd imagine he's been through uh, quite a few there's, sticks. There's a fairly big head budget in my, uh, in my household. <laughs> Here's another shot by the nice. Lancers. Well, that was a good play. And that is in 10 to three. Things getting interesting. 16 left to go. Norton with two straight goals. And clean goals. I mean, good goals, right? I mean, you know, running, running good plays, sort of just, just getting a good shot and taking it. Yeah, they've had some uh, very nice shots in the second quarter. I'll try to get you the Hiller's upcoming schedule. We have a whole lot of good competition coming up, including, as you mentioned, St. John's, which yep. is always a great matchup. That'll be a big game. On the near side, it's Murphy and now 
possession. That is 32. It's not listed. Came in right before the trade deadline. <laughs> Koshev with possession. Koshev's a tough kid too. He's he's a he's a senior. You know, came out here this year, hadn't played in a while. Um, made the, made the team, obviously. You know, just a just a good player, a tough player. Um, you know, real 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 inactive. You know, sort of aggressive on the on the offense. Loose ball. And possession maintained by the Hillers. That was a nice job by uh, that Koshef. That was Koshef, yeah. He came out of the pile with the ball. Here comes Owen McDonald. There's a shot. Nice, nice pick and roll. A little wide there. Here comes Koshef. Loose ball. Lancers have it. Less than a minute left to go in the first oh, half. Come, Ooh, again, <laughs> comes up, you know, Koshev made that play. That was a big hit there. And now closing in and putting it in is Connor Murphy, the sophomore. That was a nice, nice move by Connor. And he just beat them cold. Koshev able to knock it loose. Murphy able to pick it up and run with it and make it 11 to three. And again, what you like with me is, what I particularly like about this team with the attack folks is um, is they're as aggressive on trying to get the ball back once if it gets you know if they lose it down that, at the uh, offensive end than as they are when they have the ball. I mean, real real hard rides all the time, real aggressive trying to get the ball. They're chasing these folks all the way to midline. That's what you like to see on attack. And I understand uh, Coach Norton implemented a. New defensive strategy this season that the players have responded well to. Yeah. Here comes the Hillers once again. This is Curtis Terry. And now over to Owen McDonald. It's Koshef. Koshef. It's it out in front and it's knocked loose. And it's picked up by Keith. Whistle here, it'll be Lancer's ball. 15 seconds and counting left to go in the first half. Oof. Okay. There's a big push there. A little, yeah. Well, the Hillers uh, certainly playing physical. <laughs> Koshef with another Fart push there. Fortunately ends up off sides as part of it. That's the downside of being aggressive sometimes. Right. Well, that's going to do it for the first half. The Hillers with an 11-3 lead over the Norton Lancers. Just about everybody getting in the game today for the Hillers and getting some good experience. But a good first half by Hopkinton. The second half coming up next. The Hillers lead the Lancers 11-3 on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the second half. An 11-3 lead for the Hillers. Hopkinton took control early on, outscoring Norton in the first quarter, eight to nothing. And then we saw a number of the younger players get in there for the Hillers for the second quarter. And it was a three to three quarter. Tom Nappy, Ben Palaco on the call. John Ritz on camera. And we are ready to go in this third quarter. Looks like the Hillers are going to start off with a number of their starters out there to begin the second half. Even though this is a good game to get some of your younger players experience, you certainly want to make sure that your experienced players stay stretched out and they get some reps in. Some big games coming up for the Hillers in the very near future. We are underway in the third. The 
Hitchers with possession to start things off. And there's a shot there and a good save by the goalkeeper, Colin Norrid. That was a good opportunity for the Hillers to give their sophomore, sophomore goaltender some reps. Give Corey Bannon some rest with a tough schedule ahead. Lancers maintaining possession. And they're gonna do everything they can to try to work their way back into this game. Certainly good, certainly good learning experience for this young Lancers team. And I'm sure over the next few years, they will just continue to develop this lacrosse program and become more and more competitive in the TVL. Upcoming schedule for the Hillers, they take on St. John's at St. John's High School this Friday. That's a big game right there. And then you got Medfield on the 20th. It'll be right here at Hopkinton High School. And then on the 21st, they host Dedham. 24th, they're at Minichog. And then on the 28th, they'll host Dover Sherborne, which will be a huge matchup. Dover Sherborne, always an elite lacrosse program. Lancers looking for a shot here. Well defended, but there is a whistle there as Nicholas Lassis knocked it loose. Hillers will switch things up. Back in the game is Zanini, Tyler Zanini and Cole Salyards. As the Hillers try to tighten up a little bit in the defensive zone. The Lancers wrapping it around, trying to open something up. They're having a hard time finding any openings in this Hillers defense. So they're gonna distribute the ball around and see if they can draw something up. There's a shot and a nice save by the goaltender. Colin Norad has made some very impressive saves in this game. Norad's gonna run out with it. He'll fire it down, that was a great pass. Closing in now, that's uh, Lassis. And it's picked up behind the net. Miller is with possession in Lancer's territory. Zanini with the pass over to Koshef. Koshef leaves it out and a good deflection there off the attempted shot by Owen McDonald. Hillers maintain possession. Well, there's been some uh, good defense to start off this third quarter on both sides. McDonald with possession for the Hillers. He's looking for a shot and he's gonna get one and put it in. 12 to three, Hopkinton. Yeah, it looks like Norton used the half there to really up the, you know, they came out more physical, right? They came out a little more, a little more organized, and then maybe were in the first half. That was that was a good start by them. I mean, Owen just pushed it right on through and had a nice shot there, but that was that was good D by Norton. Miller's back up by nine. Looks like Jacob Connors is going to get the, the uh, face off this time. He's going to win it. There he goes. Could be the uh, future face-off kink for the Hillers. Up the near side to the unlisted number 32. Who they got right before the trade deadline. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here goes Mafiori. 
Excuse me, that was yeah. Connor Murphy. That's Connor Murphy, yeah. He's definitely feeling it today. There's her. Eye in the net now, over to McDonald. And I'll leave it out in front. 32 picks it up and then drops it. And we get a whistle here. It'll be Lancer's ball. Stepped out of play there. Here goes Norton. Seven and a half and counting left to go in this third quarter. Well, there we go. Again, nice ride by the attack. Really going for it here. They're going to get that ball back. Or maybe not. <laughs> Owen McDonald got in there for a strike. Misfire there, but the Lancers maintained possession as 17 was there to pick it up. Looking for a shot, and we have a good save by Norid. He's made some impressive saves today. Yeah, he's looking good out there. Fires it down the far side. Loose ball will be picked up by Owen McDonald. Here goes McDonald. Nice move there, fires it behind the net. Pass out from Lassis. Now 32 with possession. Driving in, and he lost it. Here comes Norton. Up the near side. Possession is with number three. Now with possession for the Lancers. Approaching six minutes left to go in the third quarter. Loose ball, there was some uh, contact there. We have a flag. Uh. Yeah, I think uh, maybe a little too much contact. A little too much, a little too much in the back. So this will put the Hiller short a man, if I'm correct. Yeah, now man down again. Uh, this is this is the younger team, but they they've been doing a real good job of killing these penalties over the course of the season. You know, it's kind of a it's not the biggest team you'll ever see, but they're quick. Got a bunch of good athletes on here, so they move fast, right? And so man down's all about all about just sliding quick. So Mafiori was the guilty party, so he's out for the next minute or so. Loose ball out in front. Lancer is trying to keep possession, but it's stolen away. Up the far side. Yeah, Danny Sage comes up with it. See that a lot with him. Now it's loose once again. Sage trying to get to it. Behind him is Owen McDonald. McDonald ends up with it. Now, in Mafiori's defense, he's not the guilty party. That's a different 18. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we apologize for slandering Mafiori's good name. Was it another one uh, acquired before the trade deadline? Exactly. We got a, or was that during the free agency we waiver got, yeah, period? Yeah, we got a fair number of players here. <laughs> got the JV team up Folks here Folks in today. the witness protection program trying to make sure their names don't get out there. You have to imagine uh, when you're the Hillers and you're on the JV team or the freshman team, getting any experience at the varsity level like some of these guys are must be a good time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they don't play as many games, obviously, J elite, JV level, so it can be kind of frustrating because your season's kind of short. And there's a goal by yeah. who we believe is Jacob Connors. Yes, that one I think is actually correct. <laughs> But we've got at least two 19 mid, number 19 midfield. We had an all 19 midfield out there at one point, so. It's like spring training out there. Yeah, it's a bunch <laughs> of jerseys. <laughs> 10 goal lead for the Hillers, 434 left to go. I think the rule might be 12 goals and the mm -hmm. clock keeps running. All right. 
I don't know if we'll get a chance to see though. Uh, yeah. Norton started off strong. We're, we're sort of waking up here a little bit, so. Hillers have outscored Norton in this third quarter, two to nothing. It's been a That's a nice fight at that center X there. Nice. On the near side, loose ball. That's Again, Curtis Terry, right? I mean, yep. as I was saying, you know, kid's a, kid's a tough kid. Got a wicked push in the back there. We should get a flag for that. There we go. Yeah, Seth Jenkins tripped up. Or actually, that was number six. That was Curtis Terry. And there's your flag. So Norton will be down a man. A man up is the one place where, where we haven't sort of had the, had the level of success we'd like to see this year. So this is a good chance for the man up team to come out here and, um, and get some work today. For those of you just joining us, you're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse. There's Steve Camp. Maffiore. There you go. The real AT. The real Steve. <laughs> now again, Steve Maffiore, I mean, great young man, heck of an athlete, terrific basketball player. And you're going to see a lot of that here because he's super quick. He's got great vision. He really moves the ball well. Steve. Steve started off the season playing back at X and, and, uh, and was terrific until we, um, we had one of the McDonald's who, had, who was injured come back and now he's playing midfield. But you know, he's, he's just a terrific athlete across the board. Yeah, he certainly is. And he was a key part of that uh, basketball yeah. team that made a good playoff run that ended yep, a little earlier go. than they would have liked. Was a nice feed, nice everything. Luke McDonald with the score. 14 to three Hillers. Taking a look at some of the That's numbers. That's Cole Salyards out there maybe, number nine, coming out in the face off, giving, giving some different face off folks a try. Yeah, and this is a good situation too where if you have someone that wants to try a new position, you can Get them in there and see what they can do. Taking a look at the Hillers team numbers, 159 goals overall, 87 Cole, assists. Nice off. A whole lot of scoring this season for Hopkinton. Yeah, a bunch of high scoring games. Curtis Terry with possession. The thing about the Hillers is they got four losses, but they've all they're all good games. They have they've been in every single one of them. I mean a couple you know, there's a couple three and four goal differences, but but none of those were blowouts. They were all um, real hard fought games. The Medfield game that came up on the short end, but but it was a really well played game with just two strong teams. So they've they've been in it the whole season, every game. And Medfield's and always impressive. Yeah, and they're just they're just good. I think this Hillers team can compete with just about anybody. Yeah, I mean, and they've shown it. Um, I mean, you know, Algonquin's a strong. I mean, the losses. Algonquin's a strong team. Medfield's out. We talked about already. Westwood's, you know, again, a, a, a good aggressive team. Um, so they split the series with those guys. Loose ball, and the Hillers have it. I believe getting in there and picking it up was Owen McDonald. Yep. So to Keith. Rushing in is Hainberry. Oh. And a misfire there. Yeah. Two eleven left to go in the third quarter. Hiller is leading fourteen to three. Hopkinton eight and four on the season. The Lancers zero and twelve. Lancer is trying to establish something here. Good defense there by the Hillers. They're really protecting the front of that net. Yeah, and that's the thing. They're right there on these guys who just don't ever let them get settled. We're going to have a penalty here against the Hillers. Someone got a Lancer in the face with the net. So the Hillers will be short a man. Guilty party is Brian Keefe. 
So he'll be out for a minute. Yeah, to your point on the defense earlier, right? The, the defense has they've been, had a good aggressive defense this year, right? Playing mostly man, a little bit of zone, but not often. Um, it's it's definitely been a good squad this year. I mean, they've had a good group of players out there, but also the, the defensive setup has been, I think, really um, really fit their, uh, their capability as well. And I know Coach Norton was very excited about the group this year. Hmm. And really gave a lot of credit to the amount of talent on this team and the, a lot of uh, versatility. Yeah, well, you got the three starters you got out there are sort of three kind of different folks, but they're all real good. Danny Sage over there, just on, you know, he was on that kid like the kid owed the money. He's, you know, he's got great stick skills, real quick feet, right? Kind of a, played linebacker for a while. So, so Danny's just, just got good technical skills. You got Jack Sloan, who brings the physicality of a hockey player to it, along with along with the, just the, the baseline capabilities as well. So he's sort of a different ad. And then, um, and then you've got uh, Seth Jenkins, who's who's another tremendous athlete, who's who's uh, who's just around the ball and moves quick. So it's it's been, it's kind of a different group, but but they all kind of mesh well and they bring different skills. And speaking of hockey, Jake Weinstock, yeah, been a good contributor to this team. Wonderful. Again, so many commonalities of hockey and lacrosse. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's why I think you see so many player players that play hockey playing this sport is because it's almost like uh, <laughs> they're getting geared up for the next hockey season. It is. Yeah. Well, we say they're getting geared up for the next lacrosse right. season, but yeah, I hear you. Or I just feel uh, just about any athlete that's a great hockey player more than likely can be a great lacrosse player as well. It's, yeah, it's so similar, right? The, the fluidity of the game, the, you know, the speed. It's it. There's such there's such similar games. Well, a three to nothing third quarter in favor of the Hillers. After three, it's Hopkinton 14, Norton three. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Welcome back to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the fourth quarter. The Hillers have had control of this match all day against the Norton Lancers. And they lead 14 to three as we enter the final 12 minutes. A good battle here at midfield. Cole Salyard's working pretty well out there at center X. Lancers will have possession. Along the far side. Looking for a shot here. Great save. Yeah, he's got wide open. Nor it able to deflect it away. Here's number 10, puts it behind the net. 18 now with possession. And there's a shot and another Good block there by Norid. Yeah, that's a big kid, right? And he came around the back. I mean, he, you know, he, he was on a he was on a trajectory there, and he did a real nice job. The goalie stopping that. Well, I think uh, the Hillers certainly have some skill in net with the sophomore Colin Norid. So I think they won't have to worry for a couple of years about who's going to be their goalkeeper. Yeah, well, we've we've had a ban in the net since uh, you know five years or something, so it's it's a different name out there. But um, but yeah, he 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 looks like he's gonna be able to take it take it over next year just fine. A lot of contact on Koshef as he was trying to come around. Loose ball and it is picked up by McDonald. Now it's passed around in front by the Hillers. Possession, it's Brian Keith. Or excuse me, it's along the near side in the net of Connor Murphy. Murphy closing in. And nice. some contact there. 
Yeah, the Hill has moved to this 2-2-2 two, two, two offense this year, which is working pretty well, right? You're going to see, you know, two folks down in GLA, and then you get two folks kind of hugging the crease, and then two minis up top. It's been a good offense for them this season. Yeah, I think uh, the new system has worked quite well for the yeah. Hillers this year. Oh, there we go with another pickup. Coming back to aggressive attack players. That was a good steal there up the far side. And with possession, that is Owen McDonald. McDonald out to Terry. And now over to 32. We'll have to get his name at some point. <laughs> right. <laughs> the undrafted free agent. There we go. There was a unique pass leading to a goal. How about Brian Keefe, the sophomore, That's making nice. it 15 to three. Good heads up play by him, right? Again, coming back to the hockey thing. Ball, ball kind of bounced up in the air and he grabbed it and took it right to the net. It is a 12 score lead for the Hillers. Clock is stopped at 9.26. So maybe that rule doesn't apply. <laughs> Norton certainly with a much shorter roster than the Hillers. They only have five on their sidelines right now. So you think about having a short roster like that, it must be tough sometimes, especially when you're in a lot of games like this because you're in an experienced program and to have such a shorter roster, not get as much rest. And mids get worn, you know, Mid midfielders really wear out from, I mean, no matter how good shape they are, no matter how strong they are, you gotta have a couple, three lines of mids. Otherwise by the fourth quarter, they're, they're moving slow. Here comes the Hillers. Unfortunately, so. Hillers going off sides. <laughs> Lancers will have it. 12 goal lead for the Hillers. 15 to three is our score. And the Hillers getting ready for their big matchup at St. John's this Friday. And I think that's a rivalry that We'll see for a while. I think these two programs, Hillers and St. John's, enjoy playing each other very much. Here's 16 for Norton with possession. And deflected away, and it's still loose. Yeah, good aggressive defense. Picked up by Hane H Hanneberry. Hillers struggling to stay on sides right now. It's almost all backups in there right now for the Hillers. And they're holding their own. There's a shot and it's deflected away. Good yeah, defensive nice play. Track. It was a nice job by Brian Keefe. Up the far side now. And a Barry with the pass and now around the net they go. Owen McDonald. Donald gonna spin around, trying to leave it out in front. It got away from him. And it's picked up by Connor Murphy. And Murphy was trying to feed it over to McDonald. A good battle here. Hiller is maintaining control. Uh, throwing and catching thing here, getting a little bit of a little bit of a challenge, but but again, Norton playing tough, real physical right now. They're banging into everybody who gets the ball. I mean, good on them. There's a good save by the Norton goalkeeper on the attempt. By you know, I believe that was not Palaco. It was the other 24. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yes. Pairs that most of our midfielders are either number 19 or number 24. Well, next time when there's a matchup like this, I'll have to remember to print the JV roster as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here comes the Hillers once again. 
They have maintained control throughout much of the second half. Along the far side. And we'll get a whistle and a stoppage here. Clock's gonna keep running. 540 and counting left to go in what will be the Hiller's ninth victory of the season. There was a penalty against Norton. This may in fact qualify them for the playoffs. Actually, I believe you're right. Yeah. I believe, yeah, I think there's 18 games on the schedule. Yeah, uh, 500, yeah. yeah. Again, get the man out, man up, team out here again, working the ball around. Good ball distribution. And what you're going to see here is what you always see is you see, see Dylan McBride over there, 25. He's, he's made a living 10 years, standing, hanging around the crease right there and getting these quick shots. So, at some point, I won't be surprised if you see him cut on down to the crease and they they give him a quick flip that he pops in. And there's there a shot go. and a score there. That was uh, Jacob Connors. Connor, Jacob Connors. Uh, or excuse no, me, Matthew Matthew Ori. Ori. I was Matthew right. Yeah. That comes with 4.43 left. Clock will keep moving since the Hillers are up by 12 or more. The dominant performance by this very good Hillers team, as expected. Uh, against this up-and-coming Norton program. Picked up by Salyards briefly, and now Norton has it. A, uh, that's gonna cost us a minute. And that pass got away from him. Hillers will switch it up. I think the good news on that one is they're, only, they're calling it without possession, so it's only 30 seconds. Lancers have possession in the Hillers defensive zone. Norton trying to work it around. And again, the, the man down team has done a really good job this season. They do not make it easy on any team, right? They're, they're quick and they're, you know, they're working hard here. They stay home, right? They're, all, they're doing all the right things here. There you go, Getting, going for the deflection. They've done a real nice job this season of killing penalties. Loose ball in front of the net. And another nice job by Colin Norrid. Up the near side now, it's Brian Keefe. <laughs> Zanini trying to track down the loose ball. And now it's knocked out of the net of, is that the other 24 still? <laughs> yep, that's the other 24 still. I suspect you won't see the, uh, the starter 24 the rest of this game. Starter's getting some well-needed rest for that tough game on Friday. Mm -hmm. Hannah Berry with possession. Now it's Murphy. Approaching two minutes left. I think Murphy's looking to snipe one here perhaps and mm -hmm. he'll get it over to Hannah Berry. Annaberry fires it out, a little misfire there. The Hillers do maintain possession. Yikes. Putting a lot of rainbows in the air. Picked up by Hannaberry. Up the near side he goes. Hillers trying to open things up in front. Just past the reach of Terry. 
Canterbury with a good box out there, picks it up. Here's Murphy. Back to Terry now. Less than a minute left to go. Halo's looking, apparently looking to practice the ground ball drills right now. Yeah, very trying to rush in. Uh, actually, we got <laughs> two 11s out there. It was determined to keep that ball on the ground as much as they can today. Lancer is up the far side. There's a shot, and it's wide to the left. Loose ball, picked up by the goalkeeper. Colin Nora did a nice job there. Up the near side now, it's Seth Jenkins. Seth Jenkins. Yeah, one of the starters here coming in late in the game to pitch in a little bit. Yeah, 10 seconds left to go. Lancers trying to get off one last shot. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take down the Norton Lancers by a final score of 16 to three. Another impressive dominant performance by this very good Hillers lacrosse team. They are now nine and four on the season and they have clinched a playoff spot. The Lancers fall to 0 and 13. Ben, any final thoughts? Ah, well played game, looking forward to Friday night, which will be, I think, sort of a different contest. Well, certainly a lot of tough games coming up for the Hillers, and it'll certainly be fun to follow along. With the final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers take down the Norton Lancers, 16 to three, improving to nine and four, and clinching a playoff spot. The Lancers now 0 and 13. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Ben Paleko, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, we'll talk to you again soon.